All right, and then the last one we were looking at here was the one with the wolf on it, right? Waves and light. Explore waves through sound, light, and more. Look, man, I'm only I'm picking this one purely because of the wolf. I have a, I have an I have an obligation to the type of people who watch this stream that know me as somebody from the furry fandom. If there's a wolf on it, I can't not do it. I mean, that's like a, that's like a contractual obligation. Learn about waves, which travel around you every day as light and sound. It's all around you. Don't even know it. Okay, there we go. We got a picture of clock. Explore periodic and oscillatory motion, which is how most waves travel. Learn about the different characteristics of waves, including amplitude and wavelength. Amplitude's a good game. Can you hear sound in outer space? No, because in space no one can hear you scream. Next. Oh, this one's got animation too. Fuck, they went all out. In this chapter, we're going to explore waves, disturbances that transfer energy. We'll start in this quiz by building an understanding of what waves are. With the mention of the word wave, you may be inclined to think of the waves in Earth's oceans. Out in the open ocean, surface waves travel through the water, transferring energy. But waves are much more common in our everyday experiences than you might anticipate. Ocean waves are familiar to us, but they're not the only kind of waves. You got this one. You got the one you went to the sports stadium when you do that and stand up. You know, you got, a, you, got all kind of, you got all kinds of waves. In this scenario, the rope is the medium or the substance that carries the wave. It's important to understand that a wave is a disturbance that transfers energy as it travels through a medium. We observe mechanical waves on a daily basis, including sound. Sound is simply the energy something releases when it vibrates. <laughs> Moves back and forth. I mean, that's, I mean, you're really, you're really kind of shitting on my stream here. Brilliant. You're just gonna, you're gonna, I'm, I'm sitting here telling jokes, using my galaxy brain up here, man. I got one of those up in here. Telling jokes, and you're just like, it's just disturbances in the air. I'm just expending just fucking energy. I'm just expending energy. That's it. Life's a fucking farce. Thanks, Brilliant. Really uh, bringing me down. Yeah. Outer space is generally considered to be a vacuum. A space with no matter. If we consider space to be a complete vacuum, how does this impact the propagation of sound waves? Remember, sound waves are mechanical. That means they can only travel through a medium. That means sound cannot travel in the complete vacuum of space. It's not going to travel slower or faster because these two answers cancel each other out. That's my street smarts kicking in. I am even thinking about I'm devoting no brain power to either of these answers or Sound travels in the complete vacuum of space at the same speed it does through air on Earth, which doesn't make sense because the vacuum it just said is the absence of matter, and air constitutes matter. So, ergo, it ain't gonna do shit in space. In space, I think, okay, now 95% of people got this right. How many of them got that right because they understand this on a fundamental level, or if they're just like, in space, no one can hear you scream? As it turns out, sound waves and most other waves we observe are quite different from our example wave pulse on the rope. Most waves are periodic, but what does that mean? When something is periodic, it repeats at specific time intervals or periods. For example, a period in school also lasts 35, 45 minutes and repeats throughout the day. A year has a period of approximately 365 days, while a week is a period of 7 days. Any motion that repeats itself after a specific time is considered to be periodic. Which of the followings are periodic motions? Taking a one-way flight from Madagascar to Australia does not seem like a correct answer. Uh, the pendulum swinging on a grandfather clock is getting closer to a correct answer. Or the or moon's orbit around the Earth. A is not correct because it says it's a, a period is a motion that repeats itself after a specific time. And you're taking a one-way flight. So that's not like the same flight that takes off every single day. That's also different from something that makes a wave. You're just flying a plane. I don't think that's, that's, that doesn't seem correct. A B is one of the correct answers. That's I'm in on that one. But I'm not convinced that C is right. Because it's not a... Like, 
the clock it goes to the left it goes to the right that's what's defined as that and then see it's constantly only moving in one direction you know what i mean okay you guys seem to you guys you guys are selling me on c i'm gonna trust you on this one okay well you guys should i can see i can see okay i can see why it's correct but i could also argue as to why it would not be correct and of course, I'd be arguing wrong because I'm arguing against goddamn science or whatever. But you know, the Earth is flat anyway, so who fucking cares? That's why C is not the right answer. That's what I'm gonna go with. A wave pulse is a single disturbance, but a periodic wave will continually repeat at regular time intervals. Which of the following wave pulses are periodic in nature? Okay, wave pulse is once, but a periodic will continually happen. So we get hit play. Hang on. Okay, B seems to be periodic. So I'm going to mark that one. Because that's... C, uh... C is not... It's not, it's not, a, not a regular interval. It's just doing it. A is also not correct because it's at different intensities. D appears to be periodic. And E appears to be periodic. B, D, E for Bad Dragon Enterprises. Don't steer me wrong on this one, Varka. That's what I'm talking about. 66% of people didn't save 10% on their next Bad Dragon purchase with coupon code. Gatorbox is not a real coupon code. Don't put it on Bad Dragon. If you have studied trigonometry, uh, okay, well, you've lost me. Wave D from the last example should look familiar. It's what we know in mathematics as a sine curve. But there is something else that is special about wave D. It oscillates. An oscillation is a back and forth pattern of motion between two states about a central position or equilibrium point. For example, a rocking chair is oscillating when it moves back and forth between two states about the same. Okay, I think this is what I was arguing about when I was like, is B and C correct or is it only B? Because B is oscillation. It's going back and forth, back and forth. This one's only going in one direction, so uh, anything that moves back and forth between two states or at a central position oscillates. Oscillations can repeat at fixed time intervals, but it is not necessary for them to be periodic. Oscillations can repeat, can repeat, but it is not necessary. Which of the following are examples of oscillatory motion? Okay, so B is one of the correct answers here. Oscillations can repeat at fixed time intervals. Okay, A is not one of the correct answers because it's still moving in one direction. So I feel like if you flew from A to B and then flew back from B to A, that would, that would qualify as an oscillation. But because you're only going one way, it's still a one-way flight from Madagascar to Africa, which means that somebody's playing that pandemic game smartly, because once they fucking close the port on that country, you can't, God, you can't win the fucking thing. I want to say it's only B, because when I was stupidly trying to argue a point previously in, the, in, the, in, this, in this stream, this is what I was referring to. So I think it's only B, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go on that. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well. It's easy to... Okay, it's easy to confuse periodic motion and oscillatory motion. Let's make sure to distinguish the two. When we say something is periodic, we're talking about time. The <laughs> sheep. That's a dick. I, I think it might be. That's uh, uh, bouncing on my boy's dick. Watch these surface water waves. Carefully follow the movement of a wave as it travels across the screen. Then observe the movement of the duck. Consider how their relative motion compares. What does this tell us? Is this like that thing where it's like, look at the thing and then look at look at what's on the screen, the, don't blink, and then look at the wall, and you see Jesus? Are you trying to get me to do that with, with a duck? So the answers here is that waves only transport energy or they transport energy and matter and I'm, ha I'm I'm inclined to say 
that they only transport energy because, as you can see, with the circle that the druck is the druck, the circle that the duck is drawing, he's not moving anywhere. He's moving, but after the after the oscillatory period of the wave, he hasn't actually traveled anywhere. He's right back to where he was. So the the wave is not moving the duck. The wave is just waving. It's not. It's what it is. Yeah, there we go. How do you? Okay. This one's got a cartoon. That's got animation that goes with it. How can three fifths of the people, three out, out of every five people who look at this, two of them say, "Yeah, the duck is being transported somewhere." In this quiz, we explored wave. Oh, this is the end. This is the wrap up. That was the last question. We did it. I think we I think we got a perfect on everything. But in this quiz, we explored waves, which are disturbances that transfer energy but not matter. We learned that waves can either be electromagnetic or mechanical. Unlike electromagnetic waves such as light, mechanical waves need to be carried by matter. Finally, we learned about periodic and oscillatory motion, both of which can characterize the movement of waves. In the next quiz, we'll examine two main types of mechanical waves that behave periodically transverse and longitudinal waves and learn more about their structure sheep thank you for 100 twitch pennies we smart now i am inclined to agree uh if we get finished quiz here we get the get the wrap up i mean i guess did we like this quiz i i, I guess i should be giving them thumbs up i guess i should be doing that oh that's how you okay that's how you that's how you reveal how many you did we got five problems we got five correct and if i if i if i would have been giving them thumbs up this whole time they, they would have been telling me this information okay well, you're welcome, Mr. Cool Emoji.